Good morning. Good morning where I'm from. <laughs> I don't know if anyone will jump on because is I did not say anything about this, but I thought I'd do a live video today and we are going to shape some edible art here. Well, for me, um, since I do sourdough art, we're gonna shape some dough today. So I got me a batch of sourdough dough. Um, I just thought I'd jump on here, kind of show you guys how to shape. That's one of the toughest things with making sourdough is making, um, shaping the loaves of bread. So I'm just jumping on here to show you guys how I do that. So now I'm gonna flip down um, the camera and we're gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Right now I just pulled my dough out of the fridge so it's cold. It's probably the best way to actually um, shape your dough. So here we go, I'm gonna flip the camera down. Ooh, there we go. Sorry, you don't get my face, you're gonna get my bottom half. Okay, so what we're gonna do is kinda you can let this sit out for a little bit longer, but I'm gonna use cold dough. It used to tend to be easier to work with. So, get that dough in there. Okay. So, I am gonna make two, this dough batch makes two loaves. So, I'm gonna cut this in half like that and so first of all you are going to do what is called lami laminating it so we're gonna go like this kind of stretch it and pull it out a little bit sorry go like that more there you go and then we're gonna pull it and then kind of fold it in half and then fold it in half so the reason we're doing this is to build tension. Kind of can see that tension? Got some bubbles, so you can just pop those. So, just build some tension. Look at that big bubble. <laughs> just pop it. And so what you're gonna do with shaping, you wanna kind of push it with your hand like that, your palm up. But then when you go up, you're gonna kind of push it up. And then when you come up, you're gonna kind of scoop it under. You're gonna kind of tuck it under. Scoop, tuck. So you're gonna push it and then you're gonna pull it back with the tuck of your fingers underneath your dough. So it's important to do this so that you can have that flat canvas to do your art on top or to get the good, beautiful ear that you want on your sourdough. So there's that one. I'm gonna set that on a side and pull my other dough. All right, go like this. And then we're gonna kind of roll it up. Look at that big <laughs> bubble. So push and tuck under, kind of pull. Push and tuck under and pull. Push and tuck under and pull. So if you're new to sourdough, I do recommend that um, making the dough and shaping it, try it colder. Don't use it at a warmer temperature because it will tend to break on you and it gets frustrating. Okay, so there we go. So push, pull back, push. And you can use two hands, don't be afraid. Push and then you're gonna take this, you're gonna kind of roll it under, roll it under, roll it under. Push, roll it under. Because usually sourdough is stickier and the, the warmer the temperature, the more stickier it's going to be. So there's my two loaves. I'm going to let these rest for a quick minute. Then we can talk about baskets. Um, battens, another way, other terms. So you can buy the typical battens like this. This is an oval one or you can make, which they call making a bastard loaf. I call an oval loaf. Anyways, you don't always have to use the fancy baskets. You can also use plastic. And then I line mine with um, 
towels. If you have like a, just, just a normal cotton cloth, you can use it. I get big ones and I cut them in fourths and it works perfectly for lining my dough in there. Um, while we're here, I just thought I would also say, while we let, you're gonna let your dough rest a little bit before you do the final shaping, um, that <clears throat> if anyone ever wants to request a design, if it is appropriate, I wanna try to do some Bake With Me lives in the future and you can request there by doing like a super chat or something right there because it does this cost me money <laughs> to make these loaves and that would just help with those requests um, I don't mind posting videos if I already have them because I do have some designs that people have already requested and I've done before so I can repost those here because um, I'm not just here on YouTube I'm on also um, Instagram and also TikTok under the same handle, Crystal Crystal Bakes. So you can shoot me it or go and find me there. <laughs> so okay, it's gonna take a minute. I'm sorry for the little people here. Thank you for watching. <laughs> so this is the boring part. Um. Okay, I'm gonna flip down again and I'm gonna show you how to shape this dough. Probably doesn't have it had too much time, but from here, you're kinda gonna let it go and then you're gonna pull the bottom half and kinda tuck it up like that in half. And then you, I call it, there's little armies and you're gonna pull them and tuck them into the center. Then you're gonna do the same thing with the top. You're gonna pull it up and then over should have let this rest a little bit longer and stitch and stitch it and pull and pull in and then what you're gonna do is kind of roll it up and then you're gonna kind of tuck under and pull towards you like that so tuck under and pull towards you tuck and pull there you go and kind of pinch the ends in and you're gonna pull your basket out I'm gonna line it and then I'm going to throw this in. My towels are not like perfect, but so what you're going to do is let this rest for a little bit and then you're going to come here and you're going to grab and stitch it up. I'm not letting mine rest too much. I'll probably let it rest in a little bit. And then from there, cover it up, cover it up. And then you can take like a grocery bag or you can get um, a old shower cap or well, new shower cap and then cover it like that and then stick it in the fridge and let it proof for four to 24 hours. And then I'll be bed, bread baking time. <laughs> But anyways, thank you for everyone that hopped on in. I, hopefully this video will be here if anyone wants to know how to shape a loaf of bread. I know this is a quick um, little example, but the steps are here on how to do it. I would just rest a little bit um, after doing the first shaping. See y'all later.